where it's still bulging inward. I got a little bit of a bulge outward there. Let's see if uh, some rubber mallet works. Made maybe a half inch of progress by using the rubber mallet and just whacking all over. I've got tension on the other side still. So any progress I made would stay. Now I'm going to focus the pressure right here. So I'll reattach the weld on the other side to pull just here and maybe we can get this fold. Combination of pulling, cutting, and pounding and I have it close here. We're in the middle of day 20. I'm starting on the roof because tomorrow late in the day it's going to start to rain. The roof is going to be 14 inch sheet metal and this is what I begin with. This is half inch by eighth inch flat bar cold rolled and I found it really easy to make this bend. I'll show you how I did that later. Uh, you can see my setup here and that's about all there is to tell you about it. I'm just going to lay the coach roof over the top like this. It's almost as tall as I am even in the bow and this is the reason I'm building my own boat so that I can fit inside of it. Just in case you're wondering about the measurements this measurement between here and here is two inches, no, excuse me, it's four inches total, two inches on each side, bigger than the measurement from here to here. How easy it is to make a small curve in a half inch by eighth inch flat bar. All I have to do is tuck it into there, I'll hold it up against the side, and then pull just a little bit. So now I've got a bend in it and I'll check it against the curve that I'm using as my baseline. <coughs> I just chose this arbitrarily. You can see it's a little bit more than the bend that I'm looking for overall. Um, let's see if I can unbend that. The last piece that I raised, that one, not very graceful, so I didn't record it. This time I think I might have a technique. I'm going to pivot this up onto here and then just let it flop over the top, try to control the fall and lift it at the same time. That was way easier than I thought it would be. It's only 157 pounds, and then when you pivot it, of course, you're not raising the whole 150. More snow. Just a little bit, but it is 25 degrees out here, and the water that got inside is frozen. Despite the roof, got all that debris that got inside from the wind. I'm going to wait a few days for it to warm up. Now I'm on this panel here. Super easy at this point. Here's the setup. So outside, I've got two attachment points on the plate or the sheet. And uh, come along 
I hardly need any pressure on the come along to pull it up, but I use it just because it's convenient. And then on the outside, I keep pulling until I can get a flush um, meeting point here for the two sheets. And this is what it looks like so far. Here's the latest setup. As you can see, it's getting a lot easier. Christmas Day. This is what the storm did. I'd really like to work on the boat, but I think I'll give the neighbors a break from the noise. Beautiful, isn't it? Also, it's about 25 degrees outside right now. So it's a little bit too cold to work on the boat. The view from the deck. There's the boat right down there.